Anybody up for a snack? I'm Lisa, Reinventing Indulgence, and today is about 10 snack ideas. A lot of times people ask for snack ideas. They, um, they ask me when we're doing sessions and also, um, you know, it's, it's a pretty popular thing to Google and just get ideas because everybody, you know, gets um, bored with their regular snacks. So I'm going to share mine and please feel free to share what your snack ideas would be too. So number one on my list is, um, and these are not in any like preference order, but this is just on my list. Number one, hummus and baby carrots. Um, you could use any raw vegetables for that matter with the, with the hummus, but I happen to really like baby carrots and they're, they're, you know, pretty easy, easy to get and always have in the house. So I'll do a little, little tiny bit of salt on that and then dip it in the hummus. Um, also occasionally I'll use, uh, some whole grain crackers or some gluten-free crackers to accent that. Um, number two would be something called these little turtles, I think they're called. I found these when I was doing, um, a blog on making a vegan pumpkin, uh, not pumpkin, pecan pie. And I came across turtles and I'm like, what are those? And it was kind of funny and cute because raw, a raw, mini raw vegan version of a pecan pie, I guess. So you get a date, you cut it in half, take the pit out, and then you get one, one pecan, well, half and a half, and you put it um, on both sides of, of the date. And that is like a mini snack. So usually a late night snack for me, if I don't really want to like um, go crazy with anything. I'll just go get two dates, cut Medijol dates, mm, the best. Oh my God. I'll get, um, cut one in half. Again, one, one pecan on each side. If you count the pecans as halves, halves. Uh, so basically I'm having two dates and four halves of pecans and they're, and they're really cute and they actually fill you up. They're, they're really good and nutritious and raw. Uh, number three is almonds. As I've talked about in the last few blogs, um, we did almond milk and we also did dehydrated almonds. And so almonds for me are a really nice snack. It gets right to the point, hits you with the protein and the fat. If you're really, really hungry, it satisfies that. Um, I dehydrate them so they're a little bit more uh, easily digestible. And then also you could season it and salt it if you, if you choose to do that. Um, avocados, number four. An avocado for me is a snack at, or, and, or, and or a meal in and of itself. So people eat hard-boiled eggs like as a snack, you know, they just, you know, they just take it out, put salt and pepper on it. So for me, that's my egg. I'll take an avocado, take it to work wherever on the go, and I'll cut it in half, pop out the pit, put a little um, olive oil if I happen to be somewhere where, that has uh, olive oil, like at my job. Salt, salt, a little bit of salt and pepper, red, red pepper on it, get a spoon, and good to go. So that's a delicious snack. Also, if you want, you could do avocado toast. Uh, that, too, is a nice snack or mini meal or a meal, depending on how much you have. But I use Ezekiel bread. It's sprouted grain. Um, I toast it, and I'll use the softer avocados for that and smush it on the bread and then um, season it again. Um, I, I do like my salt. I'm not going to lie. So, so salt, pepper, a little bit of olive oil on that. Number five would be sauerkraut. In my written blog, um, it's called eatingfromscratchnyc.com. And I have actually made a fermented sauerkraut. There's a couple blogs on that, and that and kimchi. Anyway, um, it's a if you make your own sauerkraut, or, you know, you could buy it too. But if you make your own, oh my god, it's so 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 delicious. It stays for a while in the refrigerator. It's a great salty snack if you're in the mood for salt. I put it on those wasa crisps. Um, they come in rye, multigrain, whole grain. Those are that's like a really really delicious snack, mini snack to the point. And sauerkraut is like low, very low, if anything, if anything, in calories. <laughs> uh, number six, back to uh, something that actually does have a lot of calories. One of my favorites is almond butter balls. And if I haven't put this in a blog already, I will. I'm going to do a written, written and video blog on it. Almond butter balls is definitely one of my favorites. Um, I'll take oats, grind it up in the uh, Nutribullet, maybe cashews as well, throw some superfoods in there, a little bit of maca, um, cacao goes in there, and then you put it put it into a bowl. I'll add a little bit of, um, I'll add 
you know, I'll add some almond butter for sure, <laughs> a good amount. And then I'll put a little bit of maple syrup, maybe add vanilla, a little sea salt. And then you make the little balls and you roll them up. You could also add chia, chia flax to that too. So you roll them up and then I'll dip them in hemp or something and then lay them out on a sheet and put them in the refrigerator. Those are a little caloric. Um, I would I would say that if you have addictive tendencies, that would be one for a yellow list that you might want to watch. Um, number seven is pumpkin seeds. I forget sometimes how nutritional uh, pumpkin seeds, sunflower seeds, they're a great snack. Um, you could also soak those and dehydrate and season them yourself, or you can just you know buy them the way that uh, in the stores. It's a good good snack. Actually, while I'm on that topic, also another really good snack for me. I love my seaweed. The sheets of seaweed. Oh my god, thirty calories. Great snack, and it hits those um, cravings. You know, if you have the salt sugar kind of cravings that you look for in a snack. Number eight. Um, Rice cakes with almond butter or peanut butter. This is one of my favorites. And again, it could be a snack or mini meal. Um, the, the rice cakes themselves, I get the little Susie's ones. And three of those are 45 calories. So if you just do want a snack and you only use two of those, it's even less, right? 30 calories. And then you add maybe one tablespoon of almond butter or peanut butter. So that's like 90 calories. And that's a really satisfying, quick and easy, no mess kind of snack. Um, love my almond butter, peanut butter, and you could um, it, you could explore with all the nut butters today. They even make them nut butters in little packages. You could just take them with you too, so it's really easy and flexible. Number nine, celery is um, you know great health food. I actually juice it quite often, but it's also a snack. Like I could cut up some celery, wash it, cut it up. Again, a little salt, and um, then I'll put a little bit of peanut butter in the groove because I guess I'm a kid at heart and I have to, like, play with my food. And so, you know, you can make it fun, and, um, you know, it's just a really, again, nice, easy snack, and it's and it, ta it tastes really good, and it's fun. Uh, number 10, chia pudding. Um, chia, so chia, you can mix with water, the chia seeds, and it becomes really thick so you can make like a little pudding and you could add whatever you want into that as well um, for for a little bit of flavoring and then refrigerate it and it becomes like a chia pudding you could take that up a notch and you could check out one of the video blogs we did on overnight oats and that then that becomes actually a meal because at overnight oats when i put everything in you know my berries and and fruit and walnuts and everything it actually does get up to about 400 calories so then it becomes like a meal um, but anyway, that's great. So that's the top 10, but I'm going to give you three more because I love snacks. Um, popcorn is a definite for me. I have an air popper, so there's that that cuts out the rest. Yeah, um, if you if you heat up, you know, I use vegan vegan butter sometimes and I'll heat it up. Then it becomes something else. It might become a little bit more caloric or you can just use... Um, Olive oil, like an extra virgin olive oil, and drizzle it on. Not that it's not caloric, but it's like, you know, good, you know, straight uh, fat, and it's not really becoming heated or anything. And then, Or you could use flaxseed oil, even better if you're vegan, too. And you could just pour the flaxseed oil on, and that's like getting your nutritional, like a vitamin, and, but yet it's on the popcorn and makes it taste good. And you get used to the taste of the flaxseed oil after a while, just so you know, in case you're just starting with it. Um, another just a freebie snack is a dark chocolate. I make my own. Um, I use cacao. I don't use sugar. I will do a blog on that for sure. My dark chocolates, I love them. Uh, cacao, I put superfoods in it and I, um, you know, I melt the cocoa butter, mix in everything and it's just really delicious. I keep that in the freezer and that's, um, that's a really great vegan snack and, uh, you know, there is some caloric content to that, but um, it is, there is no addictive, really there's not an addictive quality to it if you're not really using sugar. And you, I do put a little bit of maple syrup in, but for me, I can't really eat that like I could eat, like I really could eat, like if it was a regular chocolate bar. So um, the last thing that we happen to have, I try not to eat chips um, really, but I will do some non, 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 non GMO tortillas and uh, you know with salsa sometimes like taco tuesday so that's another snack anyway those are the ideas please feel free to share your snack ideas too um 
I happen to be a person that will eat like a couple, I'll eat either two meals, two snacks a day, or, or I'll aim for three meals, but, um, and one snack, but you know, snacks can be, um, as you, if you've seen from the list, you, snacks can actually be many meals. So easy, real nice and easy. So that's it.